The alien xenomorph, tall, slender, and powerful, is even more deadly when it uses one of its more surprising traits, stealth. Even when towering at over 7 feet tall and covered in appendages, the alien is still able to blend into its surroundings in order to use ambush hunting tactics. One of its more important traits when it comes to stealth is its dark color. The bluish black aliens along with their queen blend into the darkness all too easily. Even the runner alien with its dark brown shade fit right into its surroundings on Fury 161. The color tone of the alien's chitinous shell seems custom tailored to fit their needs. However, the original designs and concepts for the alien sported a translucent, off-white look. When we examine the original alien creations by H.R. Giger as done in his Necronomicon book, we see a similar pale, almost translucent look. Apparently, Alien's director, Ridley Scott, wanted the alien to look more like it did as portrayed in H.R. Giger's Necronom 4 painting. One should be able to see the skeleton, the blood circulatory system, the organs, etc., Giger wrote in his diary. He later explained in 2001 that the idea was to see suit actor Balaji Badejo writhing like a spider thing inside of this half-transparent suit. Ridley Scott would actually like the whole alien transparent in the way that I've made my biomechanoids. Giger then goes on to explain how the suit was made. They built special ovens for this plastic material. It was like hot melt vinyl, but it wasn't transparent enough to see through it and see the person behind it, so it didn't work. Giger explained that had he been given enough time, then the transparent suit might have been feasible. Andrew keeps producing more and more transparent costumes, he wrote. However, the ideal solution has not been found because the material is not resistant enough to tears. The Andrew that HR is referring to here is Andrew Ainsworth, who had just got done working on Star Wars. He was brought in to create the clear suits using the new ovens. Unfortunately, making these suits proved very difficult. Not only was the process complex, but the molds themselves were getting damaged by the heat during construction. Even when made correctly, the suit wouldn't hold up to the movements needed by the suit actor in order to do the scenes to the approval of Ridley Scott. Andrew was eventually able to overcome the technical issues on the suits, yet due to time issues and because of a now changing decision by Ridley Scott to keep the alien hidden for most of the film for suspense reasons, they ended up going with the now iconic black coloring. H.R. Giger had been working on translucent versions of the chestburster and the facehugger as well, but the idea for those two versions of the alien to be translucent was eventually dropped, and Giger went on to work on the translucent, full-grown alien suit until it was later dropped as well. I couldn't find any information as to what versions of the chestburster and facehugger Giger were working on, if they were his own concepts that didn't make it, or if they were the final versions of the two alien stages. A test version of the translucent suit still exists today, but it's seen better days. Unfortunately, the suit hasn't held up well over time. We have an almost complete version of the suit as shown here, but I wasn't able to find out who owns it today. There were also other bits of the suit, including a chess piece here that were saved from the garbage bins. Luckily for us, NECA, the company with a nice line of aliens, toys, and figures, has done their own take of a figure of this prototype translucent xenomorph. So what do you guys think about this look of the alien? I have to say that I like the darker black look that we have now, but this look could have been awesome for a variant on the alien. As a fan of Aliens Genocide, seeing color variants has always been something that I love to see with the aliens. I'd love to hear any questions or comments you guys have down below, and as always, thanks for all your likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions. Take care everybody, and I hope to see you next time.